All right, hello there. Uh, I'll show you how to use calculus to maximize a volume from a given surface area with a rectangular box. And let's look at the problem here. Okay, here we go. We have a, let's say we have a closed rectangular box and it has a surface area of 300 square centimeters. And we want to find the dimensions if it is of maximum volume. All right, well, where do we start? First of all, let's get some formulas for the volume of this. Uh, volume is base times width times height, so we've got uh, 2x times x times the height. So we know the length is double the width, and I don't know what the height is yet. So we'll call the volume 2x squared h. Now that's going to be an important one to hang on to for a while. Now what about surface area? Uh, surface area of a cuboid is an interesting one. Uh, let's look at the faces of the front and back. Well, the front and back... It's going to be, there's two of them, so two times, are uh, 2x times h are the dimensions of that. So I'll say 2hx, that's the front and back, plus, let's look at the left and right. The dimensions of the left and right are h by x. So I've got two of them, left and right, so it's 2 times h times x, plus the top and bottom. And what are the dimensions of the uh, bottom? It's 2x by x. So that's, there's two of them, top and bottom. So that's 2 times 2x squared. All right, so I'll simplify all that. Surface area, this gives me 4hx. This gives me 2hx. And of course, it doesn't matter if you write it x, x h. Just trying to keep it in alphabetical order. Plus... 4x squared. Okay, so now what? Well, now it says that the, it says the surface area is 300. So the surface area is 300. And I can collect these like terms right here to get 6hx plus 4x squared. All right, now at this point, here's what I want to do I've got kind of like simultaneous equations. I've got my uh, simplified surface area equation, and I've got my volume. Now, since I'm going to maximize my volume, I want to rearrange this formula to get h by itself and cram it into this one. So I have one equation with one variable. So here I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to solve for h. Uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll subtract 4x squared from 300. 300 minus 4x squared equals... 6hx. Now, can you figure out what to do to get h by itself? That's right. We're going to divide by 6x over here. So I'm going to say 300 minus 4x squared divided by all that stuff there, which is 6x, will give me h by itself. Now here, I can clean this up a little bit. And to do that, remember calculus, we want to write stuff it's a little bit easier when we write it in individual terms. So I'm going to say this is 300 divided by 6x minus 4x squared divided by 6x. I'm going to show you why I'm going to do that. All right? All right, now going over here, I simplify this. 300 divided by 6 is 50, and x stays on the bottom, minus uh, four, th this simplifies to x's cancel out, 4, 6 is 2 thirds, so this is 2 thirds x, and that equals h. All right, so that's great. So now that I have h by itself, I'm going to take this expression and substitute it into the volume formula. So I just get x's for now. But before I do that, in calculus, a lot of times I want to write with negative exponents instead of fractional ones like this. Okay, so if x is on the bottom, that is a negative one exponent. So let's do that before we substitute it into this volume formula. Okay, so v equals 2x squared, and now I put this expression in. 50x to the negative one minus 2 thirds x. All right, so just crammed it in there, and now I'm going to simplify this by expanding it, multiplying it through, and I get 
2 times 50 is 100. x squared times x minus 1 just gives me an x. Adding the exponents just gives me x to the 1. Minus, uh, this gives me 2 times negative 2 thirds is minus 4 thirds. x squared times x is x cubed. All right. So far, I've only done algebra. I haven't done any calculus yet. But now, if I want to maximize the volume, that is when I differentiate the volume, and I'm going to set it equal to zero. So maximizing always has to do with differentiating. And here's where the calculus comes in. I'm going to differentiate this expression right here first, and then I'll set it to zero. So 100x differentiates to 100. And uh, negative 4 thirds times 3 gives me just minus 4, doesn't it? Yep. Take one off the exponent. There we go. So there's the first calculus step. Now I set it equal to zero. And you can see where I'm going with this. Because now I'm just going to simply solve for x, and that'll give me that dimension right there. Double it. That'll give me the length. And I still have to fool around to get the height, but I'll get there. So what do you want to do here? You want to factorize a 4 out? We can do that if you feel like it. 25 minus x squared. At this point, you know, you could grab the graphics and do it that way, but I can I can see that factorizes quite nicely to the difference of two squares. 5 minus x times 5 plus x, of course. Well, where does that lead me? Well, x can equal 5, or x can equal negative 5. But of course, that one doesn't make too much sense because I'm not going to have a, a, a width of negative 5. So I'll just cross that guy out. And I'll stick with this for now. Now I want three things in this problem. I want all the dimensions and the max volume. Well, I've got that dimension. Uh, let's get the length. That's just going to be uh, 2 times 5 equals 10. OK. All right. Now solving for h takes a little bit a little bit more work, a little bit more algebra. I've got these values, or I've got this value of x, and I can substitute it into, let's say, any formula. I can substitute it into any of this to solve for h. Doesn't matter which one. Why don't, why don't I just use this one here? I'll, I'll take this 5, or yeah, this 5, and I'll, I'll just put it into this equation to solve for h. Now, I might need some more room here, so I'll put it up there. So I go, OK, um, 300 minus. 4 times 5 squared divided by 6 times 5 is going to give me that value of h. And when I do the math there, I get 6.66667 on the calculator, of course, which we will write as 6 and 2 thirds. OK. So that's nice. So what that tells me are my, my three dimensions. That would give me my max volume. And so if I had 300 square centimeters of surface area, and these were the dimensions, then my max volume would be 5 by 10 by 6 and 2 thirds. And that would be 5 times 10 times 6 and 2 thirds for a grand total of 333. Let's not do any rounding here. Let's keep it as a fraction. 333 and a third. I don't even know if I put units on it. Let's say it's centimeters. There we go. All right, so there's there's the problem in its, in its entirety. Uh, it's a big one. It's a lot of algebra until we get to the first stage of calculus here. Differentiate, set it to zero, solve for th three, three dimensions, and then, of course, multiply those to get the volume. All right, over and out. Thanks for watching.